Middle school can be really hard sometimes. One of my biggest stresses is the homework at school. Sometimes you get piles and piles and piles. You get projects and more projects, projects plus homework. Like, I need to get it done. I'll be doing my homework and then the phone rings. You want to answer it, you want to look at it, but at the same time, you don't. There's so many things you can do on the phone. I use social media, Twitter, Instagram. I text my friends, I watch YouTube, etc. There have been stupid arguments over text messages sometimes. I am not sure what they're going to say, how they're going to say it. What should I say back to them? When I hit send, my fingers all trembling because I'm like, is this the right thing to say? Should I say something else? Should I just send it? No. Send it? No. Press send. It's done. Now I gotta wait for the response. As a seventh grade girl, the popular kids might say, you should do your hair like this, you should wear this kind of makeup, you should do just things like that to get girls to be like worried about what people think. And it's a lot of pressure to not be wearing makeup, so you never know if you're like as pretty as the people who are wearing makeup. My friends were getting bullied a lot because of the eighth graders and the seventh graders seeing that they were the best. Sometimes people aren't nice to you, and that's how it is in the real world, but it gets to me a lot, and it just makes me upset. I think people are afraid people are gonna be talking about them. Like if you feel embarrassed or if you made a mistake or something, then I just feel very trapped. It feels awful, so I try to do everything perfect. My schedule is tense, busy, and really tiring because I actually cram a lot of things into one day. I have due dates, I have school, I have activities with band. It clutters in my mind and I think, how am I going to deal with this? I kind of just start to like shut down. Well, my stomach always feels like very in knots. I think my brain's like on overdrive. There's a bunch of papers just flying through my brain and there's people running around and there's a fire in there. I get a lot of anxiety when I have a lot of pressure put on me. Pressure. Expectation. It's a lot to take in when you know it's on you. You. You can begin by closing your eyes, getting in a posture where your back is straight, steady like a mountain, but your muscles are soft and relaxed. And then go ahead and bring your hand up to your chest, placing it over your heart or on your chest, wherever it feels comfortable. And then just feel your body breathe, just noticing as you inhale the rising of your chest, as you exhale the falling of your chest. Just staying with this gentle rhythm of your breathing. And you might have some thoughts that come in, that you become distracted. That's okay, that's the nature of the mind. We just gently redirect our attention and come back to feeling our hand on our stomach as we breathe. your hands down and open your eyes. When we bring our attention and we concentrate on feeling our breathing, it can help to calm down that storm that we might be feeling, that sense of overwhelm or frustration or upset. Because one thing that happens is that we can get stuck thinking that whatever we're thinking, feeling, or feeling physically won't change, especially if it's unpleasant. But actually, the more attention, kind attention that we give to it, the more that it will start to release. So mindfulness gives us this choice. It gives us this freedom to choose how to respond as opposed to react right away. Does that make sense? listen to your heart and like you hear the sound it it really calms you down and you feel really loose and free 
I do get a lot of stress and I take on a lot of things and to be able to allow myself to relax and see things clearly is definitely a huge thing that I need to work on. Some of my friends, they don't take tests very well and I know that meditating would help them relax more and it'll help them to do better. I think using those practices in the future to try and calm yourself will really help and relieve a lot of the stress that middle school brings. Okay.